one thing we can say, it's not false count anywhere, so keep that in mind. So no matter what's happening on the outside, at some point, you gotta get back in the ring to finish the deal. Watch out, ring post time. Nyla, no. Sheeta comes off, crossbody. And Sheeta, oh, the running knee to the back of the head. The champion didn't see it coming. And more often than not, than not those are the shots that knock you loopy. Nyla Rose has been addled. Her cage shaken. Her equilibrium affected. Oh. And right on the concrete. Right in front of our guest, Vicky Guerrero. Sheeta going to the outside. Oh, wow. I think Nyla face first into that, that big poker chip. We've already seen how heavy, how dense those things are. Leva Bates didn't know where to turn. She's there. Peter Avalon out there. Who's the mascot? That's Serpentico. Ah, there you go. Thank you. Come on, Tony, you watch AEW Dark. <laughs> I wasn't sure he was here. Uh, Nyla. Are you sure? Very nearly with the, the brain buster. But, oh! oh, beautiful throw. Just a hip throw. Really a beautiful throw. The momentum of Sheeta, of, uh, excuse me, of Nana Rose coming into play on that transaction. And now he caught her Sheeta. She's got Nyla in her sights. Running off the chip and the oh! oh! Big running knee that found its mark. Nyla Rose landed awkwardly on that big old poker chip. And she immediately came up clutching the, her lower back. Sure did. No time to celebrate. Got to get her back in the ring here. Get right back to work. You don't give a monster a, a second chance. Watch this. Sheeta coming in with such velocity. Driving Nyla to that poker chip and uh, immediately with the back spasm starting on the champion. You'd, we've never seen Nyla Rose in this much trouble for this long in her AEW career. And now she just got that kendo stick back in her possession, which again is legal to utilize. She has pulled the sword from the so stone, so to speak. And now, oh! Wow. Punishing that oh, left arm. Shot. She must have grown up idolizing from the old days, Satahara O, oh, the home run champ in Japan. I thought you were going to say Mickey Mantle. <laughs> oh. Or Tony Gwynn, right? Yeah. San Diego boy. Yes, <laughs> oh, wow, in the throat. Karashita keeping wow. the faith. There you go, keep hitting it. And oh, blasting Nyla. Nyla. Tony, you're, you're just in a yeah. blasting mood tonight. Well, you know, I mean, it's no disqualification, right? Yeah. She brought the kendo oh. stick in. Oh. Oh. Brain buster on the kendo stick into the small of the back. Cover. No. Oh. Did not hook the leg, JR. Yeah, well, two and a half right there is a, about a half a count away from the new champion being crowned. Take more to get, oh. to get her down. The running knee is so impressive. Not a rose is one, two, no. If not a rose does it. Create a mistake for Sheeta, or create offense for herself. This is we're going to see a new champion crown. But has she? Based on what we've seen so far, has she just thrown her best shot? Does she have more left? She's got the champion reeling. Stick and run. Be no quick. No stand in front of her, Sheeta. That's right. Sheeta windmilling it. She's clubbering. It's the ropes, but oh, yeah. Nyla! You could see that coming, guys. Oh. You really could. Wow, what a power slam. Tremendous power slam by Nyla, but it was sheer desperation, no follow-up. Little shades of Oklahoma Stampede variant. She just didn't take the run with the same execution on the delivery. What a physical match for the women's world title. But we expected it. Beast is getting up. 
So the action of that power slam. Just drove Sheeta down. And the luckiness, the lucky part for Sheeta is that Nyla Rose couldn't follow up. She went to her back, did Nyla Rose, as opposed to being able to cover Sheeta. Nyla with Sheeta center of the ring, and nope, hangs her out to dry over the ropes. We've seen her use this devastating knee before. This a mighty big, strong woman. She usually likes to spring up, but you see, it's a long way to go there. And she's not, the, she's a little the worse for wear as well. Oh, oh Lord have mercy. Halfway across the ring ropes, springboarding off. It's found its mark. Will it be? And she just somehow wills her way to a near fall. Watch this. The point of Sheeta's knee coming down across the back, or the point of Nyla's knee coming down across the back of Sheeta's head. And she pulled it out, the, the table out halfway, and now. And remember how Nyla used those tables towards the tail end of 2019. She punished and abused just about anybody that dared talk back to her. Including Rick Knox. Rick Knox included, you're exactly right. Yeah, and, and that's what got her suspended. Putting Rick so, Knox so, to a table. So my question is, why was Rick Knox assigned this match? Our, our referee corps is second to none in terms of impartiality. I have my full faith in Rick Knox. He's a man I've known for almost 20 years. But right now, Hikaru Shida is dazed. Nyla, oh, he's charging in the corner with a Death Valley driver attempt. There's power. That's all, it wasn't finesse or technique that broke that situation up. It was Nyla Rose power and strength that broke the grip. Shida fights and fights back. Like there's no tomorrow for this young woman. Wild right hands, the, oh! oh! Like Shida was thinking that, that rising knee strike, but Nyla in one fell swoop cut her off. Power bomb, that has got to spell the end of the challenger here tonight. Now the pulls are out, covers. One, that, that's it. two, no. A lot of hard left in that girl. And Nyla Rose is shocked. Yeah, she's getting frustrated. And that, that frustration reared its head about three minutes ago, and now we're seeing it again. And you could see Nyla visibly wincing. Oh! As she got to her feet, but didn't stop her from hitting that Death Valley driver, Tony. And then retrieving the kendo stick and using it for a restaurant quality beating on Sheeta. Nyla pulling Sheeta out. I would not advise this. No, I wouldn't either, but if this big girl connects. She is slowly getting to the top. But yeah. Sheeta, oh, just winged the stick at her. Big roundhouse right hand by Sheeta. Now, what are you going to do with each other there? What mayhem can you create? Nyla up on her feet, Sheeta as well. Oh, my God. He caught her Sheeta. The top. It's going to be a loud thud here. Top. Oh, my God. Oh! Avalanche Falcon Arrow, she has done the deal. One, two, oh! Wow, if that didn't keep the big girl down, I don't know if anything is gonna keep the champion down. It got Ushida building up ahead of Steve. Oh! Right in the leg, with the kendo stick. Oh! What a forearm oh! shiver. What a shot. What a shot by Sheeta. And the running knee strike. Sheeta covers one, two. Oh! You're Sheeta screaming. Lot left in the tank. So passionate, so over the top with her exuberance. She wants this championship, does the challenger Sheeta. Oh! All the way downtown. That was, not, that was not a Texas League single. No, I thought she was going to try to cover there, but she's not done yet. Sheeta, boom, with the knee to the face. She's got that running start, too. 
Coming off the uh, ropes. She pulls the champion out, covers. Two, three, yes, she got it. She is a champion. She has upset Nana Here's Rose. your winner and the new AEW Women's World Champion, Hikaru Shida. The number one contender, a long, long winning streak for her. Long time coming and well deserved for Sheeta. Considering the week that she just had as in regard to uh, Miss Kimura, what a fitting end to this match. Yeah, look at the emotion on her face. A very emotional victory for the new AEW Women's World Champion, Hikaru Shida. And look at this, the kendo stick broken over the head of Nyla Rose. The running knee strike to follow it up, putting the champion out, or should I say, the former champion. Really the happiness, the happy, the exaltation, the relief, the satisfaction to be able to go back home to Japan to salute her fallen hero, her fallen comrade, and now this. It's a wonderful moment. For, for Sheeta. It's a wonderful moment for AEW, it really is. And she's 10-1. She had all those straight weeks of being the number one contender. And now she's on top of the heap. The Hikaru Sheeta era begins in all elite wrestling. She is a beautiful young athlete with great skills. And as you can see, etched on her face, she has amazing heart an amazing passion. And it's hard to beat somebody that's got that combination. Oh, hell. Oh, oh good God. That oh. drop kick drove the ladder right into the face. Right into her of face. Dr. Britt Baker. Oh, my God. And Thunder Rosa, they're going to do it again. She's going to do it. Oh, no. Oh. The ladder driven into the face of Britt Baker, courtesy of Thunder Rosa. Uh, uh, Britt Brit got, her, got her hands up. That's all she could do that time, but I, I think the edge of that ladder still went into the throat. Now Thunder Rosa on the outside. Oh, man. There's already one table set up on the opposite oh, side of the ring. And that's Britt who's bleeding now. Oh, my God. Brit. Thunder Rosa, get the table. Oh, my God. It, this is beyond anything that, that I ever expected in this match. I never dreamed. That, look, she, the blood is pouring out of her head I here. I never would uh, dream what we're seeing. The, the ladder cut her head, and now... It could have been that. I, mean, I think it might have actually started with that face buster on the ladder, and then exacerbated by the drop kick. And, and Rebel's throwing a conniption here. This is not going to be a match we will soon forget, if ever. The first ever oh unsanctioned God. lights out match on Dynamite. Oh, the strikes. We're not going to have a winner. We're going to have a survivor of this damn thing. Strike after strike. And Baker's still trying to fight back. Create a little distance, but we'll see how lucky she is in doing that. And Tony Thunder Rosa, so smart, so cerebral, even in a situation like this, she hit Britt in the hip with that, that chair earlier and was concentrating those strikes on that same hip. Uh, Britt just trying to get her balance here. She's lost a lot of blood in a short period of time. Oh, oh my God. God. Thunder Rosa biting that cut. Oh! oh! How about that comeback? Able to extend the leg. Nicely done on a super kick. The thrust kick by Dr. Britt Baker, now Thunder Rosa. Oh, oh flatlined into the ladder. But Thunder Rosa's eyes rolled back in her head. Whoa. Both women covered in blood. Oh my God, look at Britt Baker. She is struggling to her feet. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I've been a friend of hers for quite a while. I really hate to see this. I hate to see it come to this brutality. But, I mean, this was something of Britt Baker's own doing. She was the one that began bullying Thunder Rosa, saying she did not belong in AEW. Oh! This is a bold move by AEW to, to promote this type of match. Uh, uh, it had to happen. Th this is, so, this, uh, this can't be, this, no, 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 hell no. Oh, Thunder Rosa. No, 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 oh, no. good God. Death Valley Driver onto the ladder. That, that had to break a shoulder blade, had to break a back. 
Oh, and uh, uh, Britt Baker trying to wipe the blood out of her eyes. The Thunder Rosa pulling Britt towards center. No, She's looking for a pin here. Pain. One, oh, wow. two, no! Britt kicks out! After having her spine crushed into that ladder, Britt Baker still able to fight and fight and kick out, oh, survive. Look at the pain on both of the ladies' face here. And, and lady is not the, proper, not the proper word right now, but these are two women. These are two warriors yes, doing battle here in our main event tonight. Two of the best, two of the great athletes we have in AEW. Making a lot of people very proud and honor their effort, no matter who wins this match. I agree, man. Oh, big right hand to the body. This is this is, I, this is setting the standard, man, for this is a, I, I don't know what to say. Oh, no. oh, DDT on the chair. Look at the dent in the seat of that chair. That was Thunder Rosa's head driven into it. And Britt, the stomp. Thunder Rosa's got to be out. Face first into the steel. The leg is up. And Thunder Rosa somehow, some way able to kick out, for God's sake. Oh, man, look at. But look, look at that smile. The rictus on the face of Dr. Britt Baker. Oh, man, she, she lives for this. Oh, she's going for it. And you can better believe if she puts the lacho on this time, guys, she's not going to let go. And if, and if she locks it in, even if, if Thunder Rosa makes it to the ropes, there's no disqualification. There's no rope breaks. Oh. What's this? What? What is this? I have no idea. I, I don't either. Maybe I don't. That, I don't want it. Maybe, I don't, maybe, maybe it's. Uh, she gonna hit her up. Oh, oh my God! Uh, no, it's. Uh, no, no. Thumbtacks. Thousands of thumbtacks. And they're gonna be in somebody's body sooner than later. Look, don't look, blink. Look at those sharp edges up. Britt Baker. They're gonna check her head here and to see if the. And Tony, think about this. Think about how much these two women hate one another. They are willing to go to this, these extremes oh to settle this. Thunder Rosa locked it. Oh, the oh. swinging neck breaker oh, avoided. No. Oh no, she got it. Thunder Rosa was thinking of powerbomb. Rebel swung with the, oh. Rebel just got cracked on the head with the, the crutch. Thunder Rosa trying to regrouping. Trying oh, to end this thing. Oh, oh, oh. Through the table. Rebel. Rebel got planted on the table. Through the, the table. Thunder Rosa escaped the Death Valley driver attempt. Britt. No. Oh, the oh, power. Oh, 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 One, two. No. Oh, my God, she kicked out with thumbtacks in her back. Thumbtacks. She looks like a pin cushion. Oh, a my human God. pin cushion. Oh. Good God almighty, can oh, you believe this? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to... Oh! And then she kicked out of that damn predicament. Have you ever seen two women, two males, two anybody oh. that have fought like this in a lights out match? I'm going to rethink my friendship. I'm never going to piss her off again. Good God. Thunder Rosa. Oh, no, look at this. They're the locked jaw, and they're laying in the thumbtacks. The they're... lock jaw's applied. There's no way. There's no way they can stop it. Oh, but Rosa no way they can stop rolled her back out to the thumbtacks. She rolled her back into the thumbtacks again. Oh, God. That's, it, that's the only way she could break is roll her into the thumbtacks. When will this madness end for these two women? Britt Baker trying to crawl, crawl out of the thumbtacks to the relative safety of the ropes. There she goes oh! again. Another great thrust kick that time by Britt. Thunder Rosa. I don't, she did not see that kick coming. No, she didn't. Wow. The, the, the fact that either one of these ladies can stand is, is a, to me, a miracle. Look at this. Britt was powerbombed into the thumbtacks, and now I think Britt is thinking powerbomb through the table for Thunder Rosa, but Rosa. Oh, oh Lord. Thunder Rosa has got Britt hooked over the shoulder. Uh, Britt is fighting. No, she's Oh, no, oh, no. She's not going to do this, is she? Yet? Oh, the fire thunder driver through the table. Both ladies oh. are damaged goods.
Thunderosa going for the cover, going for the win. Can she? Yes, yeah, she, she does. Thunder Rosa has won this amazing, amazing event. The winner of this match, Thunder Rosa. And she breaks down and cries at the end of it. I don't blame her. My God, what they put each other through. Their bodies punctured with thumbtacks. They bled. They've been bruised. They really may never be the same. This was a career-altering match. We knew it was going to be brutal going into this, but it somehow exceeded expectations. Oh, good God. That fire thunder driver through the table. Thunder Rosa, victorious. Good a green, bloody guys. mess, man. Folks, wow, uh, what a night, guys. Absolutely. And don't forget, coming up next, the mummy, the tomb of the Dragon Emperor. I've never seen anything like tonight in my entire career. We'll see you Wednesday night, everybody. Anna Jane's gonna take Wait advantage of this. Oh, oh, good God. Jesus, she broke her in half with that. This is nuts. Well, this street fight will continue in picture and picture. Don't go away. This has taken a left field so quick. Oh, man, I, we didn't expect this. I, 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 I'm saying words wrong. I'm so I'm so baffled and startled by the whole situation right now. Yeah, I tell you, when, when they came out, when they first put the table out, well, okay, a table, we've seen it before, but a table that didn't break, and then a beer bottle to the head, and then on the, the suplex on the chair. The moonsault straight to the face. It's amazing right now. Right hand being delivered by Ty Conti. Ty, a bloody mess as well. Oh. Oh. No. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think they caught her in the throat. Look at the bunny's face. Oh. Talk about seeing red, huh? Oh. Man, these, these ladies, if I can use that term, are vicious. This is living up to beyond expectations, yeah, huh? Yeah. I mean, to the name of a street fight, what a way to close out the year here tonight on Rampage. I gotta laugh because Bunny walking around, blood streaming out her forehead and slapping herself in the face. How maniacal is that? Bunny. Look at the chair. Yeah, the chair that was, that was dented, that was broken by the Bunny's body, courtesy of Anna Jay. And look, the bunny skipping around Man. the ring. I have such a newfound respect for the bunny. Really? Oh my, more than I did before. I have a newfound fear of the bunny, more than I had before. That's warranted, that's yeah. for sure. Look, look at oh. her hands Anna. are bloody, just. Oh my God. Oh, Anna Jay breaks free of the grip of the bunny. Oh no. Oh, oh no, no, I think it was Anna Jay that hit the chair, wasn't it? They both did. Well, Anna and the bunny colliding with the chair. Anna's slow to get up, so I, I, I think that's what happened. I think that the back of her head clipped the chair. And, and meanwhile, we've been focusing on the ring. We just saw a shot of Penelope. Oh, wait, uh, Anna Jay trying to end the match right here. No! Whoa. Yeah, Penelope and Ty Conti just brutalizing each other on the outside. Anna slowly trying to get to her feet here. I, I would just stay down. Oh. We're back here tonight on Rampage where the street fight rages on. The Bunny and Penelope Ford taking on Anna Jay and Ty Conti. Anna looking for the quick slam, oh. but the Bunny just drove Anna Jay through the table in the corner. My God, look at the table. Look at the carnage. You know, Anna Jay knew she was in harm's way. Even when she jumped on the back, she realized the table was behind her. And the bunny pulling Anna out from the corner of the bunny, looking to make an end to it here. The far leg hook to no. The packed crowd here at Daly's Place is letting these women know what they feel, that this is awesome. Uh-oh, it's ladder time. Oh. And that's, 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 oh my oh. God. Who got the worst of that one? 
to say a ladder is not good for anyone, and they just proved my point. Penelope Ford just rocked Anna Jay. I hope, I hope the blood isn't oh, in it. Uh oh. What? Oh, no. No, I know what this is, not even guessing. The bunny with the black canvas bag. There's already pieces of, of glass wood and everything. Right, it's the glass over. from the bottle that was broken over Ty yeah. Conti's head. Yeah. Oh, no. The thumbtacks. No, this is this is this is too much. The thumbtacks being spread out, but that is just how much these women despise one another. They are Look. going to these lengths here tonight oh. in this street fight. Look at it. everyone is standing here. No one is sitting down in this match. They have not taken a seat That's since right. this match has started. This is not. Oh. This is not a match. This is a street fight. Uh oh. Oh my God! Anna Jay climbing to the top. The bunny. Now both are going to end up. If this works, both oh are no. going to end up oh. getting into it. Oh, oh my God, Dax! Both. Bunny took the front of it, but Anna Jay got him in her back as well. Look at that. Both girls. And this crowd. Good Daly's place taking the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Anna J making the crawl makes the cover. Oh, oh let me broke it up. And then she got her hands into the thumbtacks as well. It's crazy. Well, Penelope, oh. Ty Conti, and now Penelope coming up with top to stomp. Oh, another oh. stomp. How freaking vicious is this? These women hate each other. Boy, that's an understatement. And now, Penelope, oh wait, no, oh, Ty! Oh. Breaks free, elbow. And Ty wearing the crimson mask. Oh, oh my God. Oh no, what is this? Ty Conti! Don't do it! Oh, oh style! Cannot begin to describe what we're seeing here. Ty Conti and oh now the bunny with the brass knucks. Oh, the bunny. Oh, oh she's oh my god. Look, look at Anna Jay. She's got barbed wire wrapped around her right arm. Anna Jay wrapping her right arm and barbed wire. Queen Slayer! Oh, now the Queen Slayer with the barbed wire! Anna Jay! Has got it since then. That's gonna be it. Get your ass. The body taps out. There are your winners, Ty Conti and Anna Jay. Holy hell! This was truly an unforgettable brawl, Tony. Let's take a look back at some of the carnage. The yeah, early moments of the match here, Excalibur. They paired off, but then it got crazy on the outside. Look at the, the table did not break on this. The chair broke on that, though. Then the thumbtacks were introduced, and while Ty Conte was taking care of business on the outside, the Queen Slayer, with a bar wire around the wrist, got the win for Ty Conte and Anna Jay, an emotional win. Serena absorbed all of that. JR absorbed everything, and is still on, still on point here. You hear the discomfort, the lack of a better term, from the uh, Sheeta. Oh, wow. Deep stomping the car Sheeta down. And Serena Deeb may have not escaped that without a little bit of a, a tweak to her knee as well, but Sheeta sends Deeb rocketing into the barricade. She needed to make that move, did Sheeta? Oh, Deeb chopping at the back of the knee now. The leg trapped in between the, the ring apron. Oh, my God. You know, there, oh. there's nothing that Aubrey Everett could do in this case. Nothing. And Not nothing. She oh. can do my God. No. Serena deep battering the leg with the chair. Man, that's going to be worth another look right there. That's a, that's a big turning point, I think, in this match. I agree, man.
Welcome back to EW Dynamite Excalibur here with Tony Schiavone and Jim Ross and we are witnessing Serena Deeb and Hikaru Shida going to war in this Philly street fight. Right now, JR, she just wants to humiliate her here. Well, she's uh, on the road to doing that, <laughs> she's is Serena. This is the fifth match in the series between these two competitors, each coming away with two wins. Serena's very cerebral, ladies and gentlemen. If you ever get a chance to, to speak with her somewhere around this great land of ours. Uh-oh. Serena was looking for that knee breaker once again on the chair, but... Oh! oh. oh. Sheeta! Oh. Uh, that, that could be uh, leaving a mark. Big time reversal by Hikaru Sheeta sending Serena deep face first in that chair. Just a simple roll, and the chair made all the difference in the world in that. Serena Wait deep digging underneath the ring for something. That something's in that bag, I'd suggest. I don't, I don't think that is, is that, I don't think it's thumbtacks. Well, she's got some sort of powder. Oh! oh! Right in the eyes, the powder is legal in this match. And so are anything else. Oh, then the kendo stick. Look at this. There's Sheeta blinded. There's no defense here, Excalibur. None. In this fifth match in this series, it has finally come to this. Both women looking to end this rivalry decisively, and Serena D with the upper hand. Serena's got that bona fide main streak. Huh. Whoa. And sometimes I wonder if uh, Sheeta has the same. She's a brilliant wrestler, former champion. Serena Deeb looking for the deep talks, maybe. But instead, Hikaru Shida back body drop the reversal. And she's she's looking for something. I think maybe that kendo stick. Remember that Shida was a temporary blinder there just a few minutes what? ago. Oh, Whoa. Aubrey, look yeah. out. Watch out, you're right. Watch out, Aubrey. She's, ah. Whoa! Serena Deeb just swinging in the dark and connected. Serena Deeb got caught by that kendo stick from Hikaru Shida. And Shida trying to clean out her eyes. A little help right there. And Hikaru Shida, she bought herself some time with that kendo, sh kendo stick shot on Serena Deeb. And now Hikaru Shida. Wow, missile. Missile drop kick off the steps, but she came down hard on that left knee. The knee that Serena D has been focusing on. If uh, this match is going to end in Sheeta's favor, Whoa. she needs to close the deal right away. Absolutely. Oh, she's wearing her out now. Hikaru Sheeta. Tuning up. Serena Deeb with that kendo stick. Philadelphia oh, street fight. They're kind of bowling shoe ugly, Tony. Yeah, it is. I, not many, uh, not many kendo sticks in the Philadelphia street fight normally, but this is not a normal Philadelphia street Karshita fight. Karshita was looking for the oh. katana, but Deeb countered with the chair once again. The knee struck the chair with great force. Yeah, she telegraphed that katana. And Serena Deeb was able to counter with the chair once again, and now. Maybe looking to permanently incapacitate. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, buddy. This is really bad. She, and unfortunately, she, the referee can't do a damn thing about it. She's attempting end a career right here. She can end. Oh, maybe not. But Sheeta up to her feet, lands the chair across the spine of Serena Deeb. And a very physical matchup, too. Hikaru Sheeta. Serena Deeb jockeying for position. Avalanche Falcon Arrow. One, two, no! Man, you don't get out of those very often. Serena Deeb somehow able to kick out. Take another look at this. Sheeta planted Serena. It was the leg strength of Serena that just pushed out of that. Yeah, Serena got a big break there. That should have been it. And Hikaru Shida, the kendo stick in hand once Ooh, again. God. Man, these women oh. are going to be sore tomorrow. And now using the kendo stick to choke Serena Deeb. It's all legal in the Philly street fight. No rope breaks. Oh, wait. Serena, two, no. Man, that was smart to counter that way. But right now, the smartest thing for Serena 
to be able to do is get that damn Kindle stick away from her opponent. Well, the chair is now planted. Hikaru, she, oh, look at that, Serena Deeb, the thumb in the eyes, once again, targeting the vision of Hikaru Shida. Serena. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Deep talks on the chair. The far leg is hooked, and no, oh, Shida able to kick out. And that's a fighter for you. Hikaru Shida is a fighter, a brave, courageous fighter. Serenity lock coming up. No Ser one has been able to survive the Serenity Lock. Sheeta knows what danger she's in. Serenity now. Serenity now. No rope breaks. No rope breaks. And Sheeta, I think, realized it. Well, this is a dangerous match. And after all the, and you can do oh! this, you can't do that. Serena Deeb hammering the knee down on the chair. And it's all legal. And how much more can Sheeta take here? Oh, Serena. Steps over, the Texas Cloverleaf is locked in. And that knee of Hikaru Shida has been absolutely torn apart. And Shida forced to tap out. There is your winner, Serena D. Serena using one of the uh, great Dean Malenko's finishers. Wow. And and wow, the world champion is watching on. Thunder Rosa. Looking on as Serena Deeb scores the win, a decisive win over Hikaru Shida here tonight in this Philly street fight. Barbed wire. It's the barbed wire. She's passing it to Anna Jay. This is how Anna. You know, you can take these things too far, too, guys. Well, this is how she won the last street fight, as we discussed during yeah. the break. With the Queen Slayer with the barbed wire, you're right. And Willow staggering. She's up. But Anna now with the barbed wire fitted around her arm. And yeah. once again, that barbed wire is pricking into Anna's skin right now as well. Oh. Absolutely, Chris. Anna with the Queen Slayer, the barbed wire Queen Slayer locked in. Mm. And Willow. Ruby's back into that barbed wire. Yes. Oh no, Ruby's got a chain wrap oh, around wow. her fist. Ruby hammering away at the that beautiful chain. face of Anna J. I never. Multiple oh, strikes. <laughs> this is carnage. Man, these, are, these ladies are not holding back. This grudge has been going on for months and months, and it's all coming out tonight in the ring here on Rampage. Anna Jay. I'm just proud of the effort. These four women are putting forth, fellas. What has Ty got going on here? We mentioned earlier she grew up on the streets of Brazil in the favelas. She knows how to street fight. She does, indeed. And this could be part of something she learned on those streets so many years ago. Weaponry. Well, I know she's got a mean streak. I don't think there's any question about that. And I also know this, guys, that Ruby Soho is in trouble. Anna Jay, though, back up into the ring. She, she's got some blood on her as well. Is that Ruby Soho's or is it her own? I think it's Ruby Soho. Oh, oh, my God. What is Willow going to try to do no, here? this is not going to be good for anybody. And she's powerful. Oh, my God. Go oh, oh, no. All three of them. And all the King's women came tumbling down. I think. Some in the bloody heat. This was a car wreck. Willow Nightingale, now she is she's fighting like a woman possessed. This crowd here in Los Angeles, over 11,000 of them getting into this one. Yeah, you can hear the chants of Willow ringing out through the fabulous Kia Forum. And she has Anna Jay backed up against the corner. Anna Jay is busted open, too. You look at her hairline, you can see it. Oh, it's going around. That was awkward. It was painful. It was serious business. It's a street fight. Nothing pretty about that, JR. Oh, I know that, Chrissy, but that looked like a car wreck. And now there's more. Willow placing the trash can. Oh! Ty pushing it into her face as Anna's been knocked loopy by those chain shots. This is absolutely nuts, guys. Uh, nuts! Tony, we've been doing this a long time. Look at this! Oh, remember Spine! Spine on the pine. Ooh! Willow and the oh. senton in the corner. Anna getting flattened. So did the trash can, but now Willow with the chance. She covers to no, Anna able to kick out. They gotta hand it to Anna Jay. Not only is she a beautiful young woman, great athlete, she's mentally and physically tough. And Ruby Soho now wedging that. A, a deserved, this is awesome chat from this crowd here in Los Angeles. The blood, the sweat. Don't say tears. 
I wouldn't say that. It's such a happy occasion, Chrissy. This ain't no spinning wheel, JR. Look at this, here we go. Hello? Oh, oh my oh. gosh, as we say every oh, week. Lord, I cannot gonna... imagine the damage that landing on that apron can that do. Is the hardest part of that wrestling ring is the apron. Yes, sir. And has been thrown around at this point by Willow. Willow, think of the doctor bomb on the floor. Oh, oh. Ty just came flying in with that trash can lid. Ruby's fighting through all this blood. Oh, no future, yes. the kick lands. Did yes. you see her back, though? She hurt herself just as much as that blood is splattered all over the ground. How tough is Ruby Soho? Look at these two just crawling up the ramp, trying to escape whatever carnage yeah. and hell they and created. And they can't be counted out. Timekeeper's table. As, yeah, Anna and Will Nightingale fighting their way up the ramp. And, oh, Anna landed a solid shot there on, on Willow as Ruby Positioning the table on the ring. Oh, wait, Willow ducked underneath the kick. Oh, no, watch out, Anna. Oh, it's a long no. drop. It's no. a long drop. No, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, she missed that table. She landed right on the floor. Willow Nightingale, the power bomb off the stage. Oh, my God. Onto the floor. Yeah, crash landing, and now. Ruby, she was going for the, the pile driver, the power bomb through the table, but Ty. That was a headbutt. That was a headbutt, all right, Tony. Oh, wait. That was a headbutt, baby. Ty. The oh, my gosh. gosh. Style pile driver through the table. That was brutal. That was hard to watch. And Ty Mello returning Ruby Soho to the ring. She's going to try to pin her. I don't think I've seen anything quite like this one. One, two, no. How in the love of the name of God can this woman kick out? This match has been absolutely wild. The action all over the TF4. Willow Nightingale with the power bomb off the ramp. Ty with the plow driver through the table on ringside. And now Ty looking for more weapons. Now what's next? Oh, Ty. No, it can't you be. You know exactly what it is. We have it's seen this black bag so many times. It better be a tiny snake, because if it's not working, we're in trouble here. Yeah, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little queasy because I, I think we all know what's in the, that, that bag. Of course we do. We can't spoil the surprise. No, there no. it is. Now it's you the know. Thumbtacks. Now you know. Thumbtacks. This is brutal. And Ty Mello with Ruby Soho up. She's going to look for the God Style Pal Driver in the tax. Ruby fighting mightily. There's no way out of these tax. Surrounded by tax. It meant for somebody's body. And, oh, wait, Ty just trying to put Ruby just face hurt. into the tank. Blood just dripping off her nose. No, we can't. This is horrible to watch. Oh, but look at Ruby. She's got her hand in she's the tank. She's got her hand in the tax. And put, she grabbed a handful. Oh, she threw it in Ty's face. Sense. What is she going for right into the chair that was stuck in the corner? Ty's almost out on her feet. Oh, wait, Ruby. She's got Ty all hooked up. Destination oh. unknown into the tank. Oh my I think God. just as many went into Ruby, oh. but this is it. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Ruby. Uh, what is this match? Willow Nightingale. Look at the tax. Ruby. So ho. And the doctors got to be there. I know they're all here. This is terrible. What a battle we just witnessed. Ruby Soho. They literally beat the hell out of each other. None of them can stand the hell, the blood out of each other, everything. There's your quote unquote winner. She doesn't look like she won a damn thing tonight. Oh, wait, and Ruby, begrudgingly giving respect to Willow Nightingale, they went through this war together. And Ruby, she, she said that she was going to end it, end this rivalry with Ty Mello. And she got the win here tonight. AW Dynamite live in Detroit, Whoa. Michigan. I am Excalibur, joined by Tony Schiavone and Taz. Inside the ring, it is no holds barred. Former friends, Julia Hart and Anna Jay, tearing one another apart. Anna Jay made sure that chair was wedged, but it was used against her, and it's yeah. still stuck between the turnbuckle pads up top. It backfired, and now a whole bunch of chairs being pulled out from the bottom of the ring by Julia Hart, and that means definitely uh, Bad stuff. Yes. Great danger coming here for Especially, Anna. Yeah, she kicked the kendo stick away, so you know she has bad plans oh. for Anna. Anna going behind. He's got Julia back to back. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, my God. Oh, Lordy.
No holds <laughs> barred, no disqualification, no count out, anything goes. Maybe no holds left after that one. It's an excellent counter by Anna Jay. She's gonna get the win here. The Vers and Julia very, oh, man. very barely kicking out. Take a look here, watch this counter as he said, bam, right on all those chairs goes Julia Hart. Oh, I think she hit, she hit her hip. Really on the, the chair, that right hip? Still everywhere. You hit your hip, your knee, your thigh, your face, your chest, your elbow, your shoulder, your head. Uh, every part of your body, basically. Shoulders, knees, and toes. But got it! Oh! Change it! Ramming the trash can in oh. the face of Julia Hart, and now... You can ring my bell, LL. You can ring my bell. You got that, sir. Remember that, sir? Yeah, I do, too. Watch out. That's what you're going to do. Julia Hart. Oh! The Damn. kick in the corner. Julia Hart sandwiched in the trash can. The cover and Julia kicking out, but again, barely. Yeah, I'm telling you, Ju uh, Julia has had some stuff rain down on her. Yeah, she's hurting right now. Yeah. That, that kick out, you could tell, was not yeah. much in the kick out. And yeah. Anna Jay not stopping. Stephen Smith is checking with her right now. Let's take a look here. And again on his chest. This yeah. is what I think injured. Yeah, that took her out. Yeah, it's a different yeah. angle. You saw Julia immediately comes up clutching her hip. Yeah. And Taz, an injury to the hip. I mean, that affects basically everything a pro wrestler does. It's the, the core, right? The middle of your body. So no matter what you try to do, it's going to be effective. But Anna Jet just put all those chairs in there. And a special programming note, AEW Rampage, special night and time. This Saturday, 10, 9 central on TNT. Man, she's got something in mind here, Anna Jay. She's got shares lined up. Julia cannot even get up. She cannot, She's trying to roll out of the way. She can't even roll out of the way here. Julia Hart writhing in pain. Anna Jay taking this opportunity to pile up those chairs. She hit Man. She hit uh, Julia on the outside. Now looking to do it inside the ring. How much Julia Hart's going to be done here, guys. I do, too. How much is enough here? Oh, no holds loud. barred. No holds barred. Anna attempting maybe a brain buster. But the black heart of the House of Black counters out. Lands an elbow flush on the jaw of Anna Jay. She needs to mount some kind of offense, Julia Hart, but she's hurting. Her hip is definitely messed up. Julia, though, fighting through the pain. That's how much hatred she has for her former friend, Anna Jay. Well, this has been a wild program, and we still had a cage match to go. That's right. And an AW World Trios yes. Championship. Oh, God! God. Anna Jay, the superplex. Her lower body landing on the pile of chairs. And Julia now in the chairs. She's got the Heartless locked in. Anna with nowhere left to go, and she taps out. Julia Hart has done it. The winner of this match, Julia. Hart. Gotta say, both those women left it all in the ring, guys. They really did. Yeah, the disdain and hatred for each other showed. It was evident in the Snow Holds Ball match. She pulled it out somehow. Julia Hart. Julia Hart, the Heartless, forcing Anna Jay to tap out. And coming up next, the AW World. Just that extra level of violence to try and keep them down. And it's also hate. It's like, I'm not going to pin you. I'm going to make you absorb every bit of this punishment, every bit of this violence, every bit of this hatred that I have for you. You're going to feel, and that's on period. Oh. Out here in Chicago, looking like, like Sammy Sosa, Ernie Banks, Billy Williams. Oh, goodness. Shots to the hips, like an episode of Star Wars. Well, there is no phantom menace here. These are menaces, live in real life, menaces to one another. As the champion unloading on the challenger. Sometimes I wonder how deep the anger is in the falling goddess. Every time where I think she's reached a level or somebody's gotten to her deepest spot, she continues to go. It's almost like a black hole of hatred inside of her. You brought up Star Wars Capri, so I'll go one further. The Sith did not channel the force for good. The Sith found a way to use it for evil.
to accomplish their evil ends. And it's Athena who's able to channel this force, this power into 26 in a row. Looking to make it 27 against a longtime rival. Well, she is the Sith, and no one else can bring danger like this. And you see the challenger being brought back to her feet, but it gives Hogan an inch. She will take a mile. As able to turn that back in, Athena let her get a little too much breath there and get her footing. And now the champion's in trouble. Oh, God! That hurts even more when the table doesn't break. And it also hurts the person that put the move in. And you already know that Kiera's ribs are hurting, but Kiera doesn't care. She's willing to risk life and limb to make sure Athena goes through this table. Oh, Caprice, she's second rope on the outside. Kira Hogan, the challenger. Oh, my oh, God. Gives it all up. Let's see that again. We take a look. Huge dive to the outside. Crashing down. Table collapsing. The challenger takes the advantage. But can she capitalize? I'll tell you what, the violence that is being shown right now, I am assured that neither one of these athletes will be getting out of the bed easily tomorrow morning. The amazing thing about this match, Caprice, is they don't have the time to second guess. They don't have the time to ask themselves, is it worth it? Because to sign this kind of bout, You've already decided it is worth it. You've already decided that you're willing to do whatever it takes to walk out the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. You've already decided as long as you leave with the title, as long as you get a good shot in on your opponent, it is worth it. And for Kira Hogan, she could have her cake and eat it too. She can unleash the violence. She can walk out the champion. That alone shows you how much the Women's Championship and Ring of Honor means to every woman in this sport. They have came from far and wide to compete against this championship, and this is Kira's second time, and she's making sure she makes the best of it. And I'm seeing a Kira Hogan that I've never seen before. And that's because anybody who takes on Athena oh knows that there, there's a prerequisite of violence you must meet before you step in the ring with her. And Hogan now on the table. Hogan, she might be knocked out, Caprice. And Athena up to the top. It's Hogan. Hogan already resurges with energy. As the table looms large, it's Hogan and Scissor. The legs are caught, though. Athena has blocked the head, Scissor. Does she have the strength? She does. Just snatching Hogan. And... Oh! oh! My God! That was amazing! Two! Wow! And Hogan finds a way to kick out. We're going to take a look at the replay here, Caprice. Look at the impact. The table collapsing in on itself. On to Hogan. Athena, the champion, with an opportunity. Hogan with the will to survive, though. That was a survival kick out, and you can't tell me any different. Even though Kira was able to survive the impact of that move, the damage is done, Rick Cabani. Kira has to be moving on film. Winning right now is the fans saying that this is awesome, but Kira is in danger. And you can see right now that the eyes are open, but nobody is home, and Athena is on her feet, and that is a very, very dangerous thing. Mike Posey trying to clean up the mess within the ring. Athena setting up the trash can. You can almost hear the voices inside of Athena's head. That's because she's talking back to him as she's going under the ring. What is that? No way. No way. That a, that's a black velvet bag. No way. Oh, oh no. No way. Oh, oh, no. Come on. They're too pretty for this. Come on now. It don't. Adam Cole's pretty too, but he he no, would at least no. Uh, no. Oh, oh my goodness. God. 
Posey, you got it. No, Posey, get them away. Get them away. Clear the clear. Oh, God. And there, there are hundreds. There are hundreds of thumbtacks. There's already some on the bottom of Athena's boots. We got a glimpse of it. This opens up a whole nother level of violence. Oh my goodness, no, 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 no. No, up and over, Razor's edge position. Athena eats a super kick from Hogan. Gives Hogan one of her own. Charge again, oh! Pull into Steven in the trash can. Hogan with Athena. Oh! Inside, back suplex out of the thumbtacks. On her arm, oh my God, the tricep. And the back of Athena. Make the cover. One, two. How is Athena able to kick out of that? You can literally see the thumbtacks in her arm, in her back, in her neck, in her shoulder. And Kiera knows it, but she doesn't care because she wants to be the women's champion. And we saw the involuntary movement of those fingers, those legs, the back, everything. The pain just writhing in pain. Athena finding a way to kick out. And now Hogan trying to, just trying to choke, just trying to choke the life out of Athena. It's a hair choke. It's legal. Into the corner. You're absolutely right, Caprice. Now second row. Kira's got oh, a no. hanger. Oh, come on, Posey, you got, Posey. He's got to make a call quick. He's got to, he's got to judge and see if Athena will even survive this. Oh, she's fading, she's fading, goes to the eyes. She's gouging Kiera's eyes out. And you know what, thank goodness, because she was losing oxygen. That could have led to brain damage, permanent damage to Athena. Well, Kiera's losing vision, Riccoboni. And you can see right now, Athena's still picking it out. Oh my God. Her own blood. She is licking her own blood. And now just, it just, that Frank Lloyd Wright style contraption she has created. No, 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 no. There are other ways to go about this. Just, just win in the ring. Nobody win the ring. wins this. Oh! God. I, we're being told we gotta go to the replay. I don't want to see no. God, look at the fighter. Breaks her spine. Her Kara Hogan's spine and the neck. Of Athena just popping off the face of those chairs. <laughs> Athena back to her feet somehow, some way. And it is Athena shooting the half here. Cover on Hogan. Two, three. The winner of the Chicago Street Fight and still Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. I tell you what, with a win like that, you have to be asking yourself, who is capable of dethroning a champion that is willing to go that deep? to hold on to her championship. Athena has proven over and over again with so many title defenses and a 26 winning streak that she is not willing to be stopped anytime soon and willing to risk life and limb to retain that title. I've been kicked with a foot. Well, that's true. But not with a femur now. Hang on a second. Oh, good snap suplex by Abaddon. And now Abaddon goes over to cover. One, two. Oh, champion's still alive. Boy, Abaddon just shrieks and screams. That's all part of, of what Abaddon does. The intimidation of the challenger, certainly the Bansi shriek of the American oh. Horror Show. He suffered a broken collarbone back in November of last year. Took some time off and has come back looking better than ever. And the important momentum for the challenger here tonight.
as they face Sheeta for the AEW Women's Championship. Oh! Abaddon continues to just wail away at Sheeta. Sheeta is stunned as she tries to get to her feet, but Abaddon hanging on here. Now Abaddon goes down with some pretty good blows by Sheeta and a double axe handle to put her down on the mat. Sometimes it's a technical classic. Sometimes you've got to just hang on and try to survive as a champion, Nigel. Not every match is going to be uh, your cup of tea, if you will. Certainly not. It's more like a glass of absinthe. You ever drink absinthe, Tony? That uh, looks your type of drink. I, I've had a drink of that before, yes. Did you What's see the fairies? What's in this bottle? It was back in the 80s. Abaddon holding on here. Back live on TNT from the Mohegan Sun Arena. The AEW Women's World Championship is on the line here. The champion, Sheeta, against the challenger, Abaddon, who, as Kevin Ooh. Kelly told you, won the four-way match last night here on TNT on Rampage to get this title shot. Everything is coming now full circle, I think, for Abaddon, Tony. Abaddon's first win in AEW was a victory over Anna Jay. Getting the victory last night. To earn this title opportunity, Abaddon defeated Anna Jay. Right. I just am a big believer in that type of symmetry. I think it's all just going to work out here tonight, but. Well, wait a second. Hikaru Shida's going to fly. It's a witch's broom. Wait a minute. Lois is here with us tonight. No. Oh. Double clothesline. Who got the worst of it? I don't know. Well, oh. Good landing for both champion and challenger as Abaddon might be thinking about her black Dahlia finishing maneuver and certainly if she can hit Sheeta with it. But she's outside now, back underneath the ring, perhaps, from our viewpoint. I can't be sure. You know, they found success crawling under the ring earlier on. Well, now Abaddon has uh -oh. rising from the grave with a baseball bat. The sting under the ring. I, maybe Sting or Jericho. Oh! Abaddon. That high in the air. Oh, using the bat. Sheena. And for a choke. Good shot by Sheena. Abaddon caught up against the rope. That did not phase Abaddon at all. That did, though. No, it did not. Oh. The zombie. Continues to come back to life. Whoa, what is that coming out of their mouth? Something black pouring out of the mouth of Abaddon. Oof. Now she is from the Black Hills, and she does. Oh! Runs into a lariat. One, two, champ. Well, that was close. Unorthodox pinning attempt there from Abaddon. Not enough to secure the victory now. Who is perhaps on the show a little bit of frustration? Hold on. Abaddon roll up, rolls her up right on that. Oh man, on the broom, and it looks like it actually it was was that blood from Abaddon's mouth? She shelves the broom quickly. Oh, uh -oh. candy for the kids. Well, this spell, the sweet fans. success for the challenger. The fans thought it was thumbtacks. Sometimes it's a trick, sometimes yeah. it's a treat. Yes, it was a trick that time. And oh! Blockbuster! How about that blockbuster maneuver? One, two, oh. from the candy! Hit hard on the candy. Never thought I'd Here say that. Here comes the Black man. Dahlia. Oh! Almost got it. Rolls her up. Good counter. One, two. No, sir. Abaddon kicked away. Way forth. Now the fans want to see a pumpkin. But the oh. little sir, kendo stick on the noggin. Between the eyes. Oh. Tamashi. One, two. Woo!
Women's World Champion, Hikaru Shida. What a win for Shida. Statlander get pummeled through that very thick, look how thick that plywood is. This tag team Texas street fight match between Chris Statlander, Willow Nightingale against Mercedes Martinez and Diamante has been an absolute war, Nigel. From the very beginning, the use of a beer bottle, everything you might expect in this sort of a street fight here in Texas. There you see that sign, it's, it's not as thick wood as was earlier, but it's hard nonetheless if someone gets thrown into it. A valiant attempt from Nightingale to get back onto offense, but this might do it. And again, Willow Nightingale and Chris Statlander kind of had each other's backs as Mercedes Martinez and Diamante have tried to individually target Willow and Statlander over the last few months. There we go. Put the brakes on, did Willow. Diamante misses the double axe handle attempt oh. and then paint brushes her. And the ultimate, oh, the oh. power, my God. She bounced off that board. That board is hard. And wait a minute. It still won't break. She's going to waste her with it. A brushy blow to the head, and that time Willow Watch almost out. landed. She almost landed on the tire iron. And all referee Mike Posey can do is watch yes. and count shoulders yeah. or listen for a submission. No disqualifications, and all four competitors perfectly happy with those rules. Yeah. There you see Statlander now hooking. Mercedes Martinez picks her up. Saturday night fever. One, two, whoa. And now with the. That's the briefcase that Willow and Statlander brought down to ringside. What the hell is inside of it? That briefcase was open momentarily, but. Marcellus Wallace isn't going to be a happy man. Whatever it was, they were checking on, and now. I looks, wonder what's in there. Looks like Diamante's going to find out. I'm sure, it's not the game. Man, that's a tasty burger. Oh, oh no, no! From no. tracks and glass. My God. Look at the shards of glass that are in amongst those thumbtacks. Oh, oh, no. oh, they're getting Come on. evil on her ass. Digging her forehead and her face into the thumbtacks, and here comes Willow. It's a lead pipe cinch that Willow Nightingale is going to have the back of Chris Statlander. Good God, what are we watching, guys? Stanlander. Oh! Ah! One! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, there's thumbtacks and glass in all these ladies' backs and rear ends and shoulders and arms. And, and with blood. no time limit, this could go on all night. Oh, no! Oh, no! Here we go! You may be trying a Death Valley driver on the table or not. This time blocked. No! And Willow. Hang on, hang on, Willow! Willow, hang on the table right beneath her! Watch out, Diamante! Diamante! Oh, God! Wipe it out, Willow Nightingale! Stanlander's got a chain wrapped around her arm! One, two! Statlander, look at her jaw set. She's ready to fight some more. And she's still got glass and thumbtacks in her head and her hair. Wow. Wow is right. Sonny lived up to billing. It was a rare distraction on the outside after putting Nightingale through the table. They gave Statlander the opportunity to use the chain to pick up the win tonight.
An absolute amazing match. Willow Nightingale obviously took quite a spill to that table. A blood-soaked affair, but now the attention of Chris Statlander is on her injured but victorious tag partner. What a match here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, right now.